The CBC reports that a statue of Edward Cornwallis has now been removed from Cornwallis Park in Halifax. I know Mi'kmaq Nation is very happy right now. I know that. So I would say that's a definite step forward in reconciliation, said Rebecca Moore of Picto Landing First Nation. Corey Hinchy agreed. I think it's very offensive to a large group of people, he said. I think it's a good step in the right direction. Councillor Lisa Blackburn, who voted to remove the statue, thought so too. She said, it's going to be about learning going forward. Leo DeVoe, the strategic planning chair of the Halifax Military Heritage Preservation Society, said he is not happy with the process that led to the statue's removal. But he too wants to move forward. In April of last year, the Halifax Regional Council voted to form an expert panel to consider how to handle municipal properties named after Cornwallis. A telephone survey at the time suggested most Haligonians were not in favor of renaming such properties. However, Halifax's poet laureate, Rebecca Thomas, cautioned that majority rules has done a lot of damage in society when you come from a marginalized community. So when you see that the majority of people don't think that Cornwallis should be removed, it doesn't take into account the social impacts of that. What kind of damage is that doing? In order to ensure that Indigenous voices were heard, it was decided that the panel should consist of eight members, with half of them selected by the Assembly of Nova Scotia Mi'kmaq chiefs. Efforts to put together the committee were stalled, however, when some councillors took issue with the suggested inclusion of Wilbert Marshall, chief of Pitlotec First Nation. Marshall was convicted of sexual assault in 2008. In the words of Mi'kmaq elder Daniel Paul, the chiefs in large have looked at the situation, and keep in mind three chiefs of Mi'kmaq communities in Nova Scotia are female, and they saw fit to pass the motion unanimously. I guess he has been forgiven for his sins, by the Mi'kmaq anyway. Last Friday, in response to delays in forming a panel that would satisfy all parties, the Assembly of Nova Scotia Mi'kmaq chiefs called on the Halifax Regional Council on Facebook to remove the statue immediately, as the process of discussing its future was taking too long. On Tuesday, the Council voted 12-4 to temporarily remove the statue. That took place on Wednesday. The recommendation to do so was in a report that was part of a last-minute motion added to the Council agenda. It cited the need to build better relationships with Halifax's Indigenous communities, as well as concerns of public safety. Rebecca Moore said, I can guarantee and I can vouch for that we never plan violence on our part. But, I think that what the city was finally recognizing is something that we were telling them for a long time, and it's how this statue is a flashpoint for racial tensions. On July 1st of last year, Chief Grizzly Mama led a protest in Cornwallis Park that was interrupted for several minutes by men in polo shirts. Taylor Paul, who is originally from Halifax, said the interaction made her feel uneasy. The statue will remain in storage until further notice.